day, good morning to you, and welcome to another edition of ClinCheck Theater Thursday. I am your host, Dr. David Gallagher. I want to point out to everyone that one, if you ask me, David, what is the number one thing that you look for in ClinChecks now <laughs> with the Gallagher engine or ClinChecks in general is end stage premolar occlusion. You see, at the end of the treatment, we want the premolar occlusion to look the same or better than the original one. But a lot of times, because of intra-arch alignment, I see the end stage occlusion on the premolars not as good as the original. So let's take a look at this case. You got a first bicuspid occlusion here, not ideal. There's a little bit of space. But look what happens in the ClinCheck. What? Because this canine is rotating in more, this premolar starts to get out of the way so that that guy could come in. And that's nice. The premolar gets to rotate. That's nice. But because of that, this ends up being an open stage occlusion. That is the problem. The end stage occlusion on the premolar was worse than the end stage occlusion on it. So what do we do? We go into modify plan number one. And in modify plan number one, the first thing we want to do is we want to make these teeth unmovable, 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 unmovable. Boom. Now, on this one, we're going to use my favorite button. The best button in the Clin check movement is this one. This is crown torque. You can crown torque all day, every day. This is the best movement within the ClinCheck universe. This will happen 100 times out of 100. And if I click on that, I want to move towards the blue. The blue, blue as in buckle. So I'm going to, instead of this tooth crown torquing to the lingual, I want this tooth to crown torque to the buckle. Now, a couple of good benefits. Number one, this is a home run movement. Crown tipping, crown torque is a home run movement. Number two, it closes the occlusion very nicely. So I'm gonna come all the way out to that thing. Boom, till I'm touching that tooth real nice. So it ends like that, but in reality, the clinch check was supposed to end like that, but now it ends like that. That's a much better occlusion. Gotta remember, you're gonna pick up a little bit of interference because these guys don't pit perfectly well and I hit that button called auto resolve. And that just makes sure that my end stage occlusion is real nice and good. So the end stage occlusion from Invisalign was here. I brought it out to there. Could even do a little bit more, a little bit more tipping. There you go. And now my end stage occlusion is good. Buckle crown torque is your best friend in the whole game. Make sure you use it. Hey, you know what? This one, let's do this one too. Look at this molar here. Buckle crown torque, that sucker. She's tipped all the way to the lingual. Buckle crown torque, everybody, all the time. Look at that. That's a nicer little finish. That's how Invisalign wanted to end it. That's how I, let's do a little more. We'll call it crazy day today. Boom. Buckle crown torque, picked up a little interference. No problem. Always hit this auto resolve button to solve that interference. And we got these guys. Beautiful occlusion here. Beautiful occlusion here. Way better than the initial Invisalign thing. Thanks very much. And hope this was helpful to you. This has been ClinCheck Theater Thursday. I am your host, Dr. David Gallagher.